Can you really learn to experience orgasms? What role do fantasies play in sexuality? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, many women can learn to experience orgasms through exploration, communication with their partner, self-awareness, and sexual education. The key is understanding one's body and personal needs. Sexual fantasies are common and can play a significant role in arousal and sexual satisfaction. They are a natural way to explore desires and preferences, as long as they stay within the boundaries of respect and consent. In some Scandinavian countries like Denmark, sex education has been introduced in nurseries for young children, aiming to teach them about the body, consent, and gender differences from an early age. Diet and Erectile Dysfunction a healthy and balanced diet can benefit erectile function by promoting cardiovascular health and maintaining a healthy weight. Foods rich in antioxidants, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can be especially beneficial. Diverse designs. Sex toys come in a wide variety of designs and styles to suit different preferences and needs. From discreet vibrators to realistic dildos, there are options for every taste. Diversity in Sexual Orientations There are numerous sexual orientations beyond heterosexuality, including homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many more. Diversity in sexual orientations is natural and valid. Diversity in Sexual Preferences Sexual preferences vary widely among individuals and may include a wide range of practices and fantasies. What is pleasurable for one person may not be for another, and all sexual preferences should be respected as long as they are consensual and safe. Diversity of Sexual Practices There is a wide variety of consensual sexual practices, ranging from oral sex and anal sex to bondage and fetishism. The important thing is that all practices are safe and consensual. Dominance and submission fantasies are common in human sexuality. Some people enjoy dominant roles, while others prefer submissive roles in sexual relationships. Domination and submission fetishism. In some BDSM, bondage, domination, submission, and masochism, relationships, domination and submission fetishism play a significant role, where one person enjoys exerting control over their partner, while the other enjoys being dominated. Double amputation fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards the idea of double amputation, whether of legs, arms, or both, finding the representation or idea of amputation erotically stimulating. Edging technique. Edging, also known as getting close to the edge, involves stopping stimulation just before reaching orgasm to prolong pleasure and increase the intensity of the climax when finally allowed. Educational toys. Some sex toys are designed for educational purposes, especially to teach anatomy and safe, consensual sexual pleasure techniques. Effects of pornography. The consumption of pornography can have varied effects on people, some may find that it enhances their sex life and intimacy, while others may experience negative effects, such as erectile dysfunction or relationship problems. The key is balance and moderation. Effects on relationship. Excessive pornography consumption can affect relationships, as some studies suggest it may decrease sexual satisfaction and emotional intimacy. Effects on the body. During a male orgasm, muscles contract and semen is released. This fluid release is part of the reproductive process and may contain sperm for fertilization. Ejaculation issues. Men may experience various ejaculation-related problems, such as premature ejaculation, delayed ejaculation, difficulty reaching orgasm, or an ejaculation, inability to ejaculate. Emotional commitment. Although open relationships are often associated with fulfilling sexual desires, 
many couples also experience deep emotional commitment and intimate connection within this type of arrangement. Emotional intimacy. The ability to establish a deep emotional connection and express genuine love and affection is often considered attractive. Erectile dysfunction and acupuncture. Some studies suggest that acupuncture may be beneficial for treating erectile dysfunction by improving blood flow to the penis and reducing anxiety related to sexual performance. Erectile dysfunction and cardiovascular disease. Erectile dysfunction can be an early sign of cardiovascular disease as they share similar risk factors such as hypertension and atherosclerosis. Erectile dysfunction and diabetes. Diabetes can damage the nerves and blood vessels essential for achieving an erection, increasing the risk of erectile dysfunction in men with this condition. Erectile dysfunction and psychological disorders. Anxiety, stress, low self-esteem, and other psychological disorders can contribute to erectile dysfunction by affecting sexual response and arousal. Erectile dysfunction and smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the penis, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction in smokers. Ethical and moral challenges. Pornography poses ethical and moral challenges, especially regarding the representation of violence, exploitation, and consent, leading to debates about regulation and industry responsibility. Ethics in pornography. The pornography industry has faced challenges regarding ethics and consent, Concerns have been raised about the well-being of actors and production practices. Evolution of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can change over time due to life changes, new experiences, and personal discoveries. Being open to exploration and communication can enrich sexual life and intimacy in relationship. Exploration and experimentation. Foreplay provides a safe space for women to explore and experiment with their sexuality. They can discover new ways of pleasure and communicate what they enjoy to their partners, enriching the intimate connection. Exploration of erogenous zones. Foreplay is an opportunity to explore women's erogenous zones, which may include areas like the lips, neck, breasts, inner thighs, abdomen, and back, where stimulation can evoke pleasurable sensations. Exploration of sexuality. Open relationships can provide a safe space for people to explore their sexuality more fully and satisfactorily without feeling constrained by traditional norms. Exploration of spirituality. In addition to its focus on physical pleasure, the Kama Sutra also addresses spiritual and emotional aspects of sex exploring how sexuality can be a path to spiritual connection and personal growth. Exposure therapy is a technique used to treat sexual anxiety problems, such as erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. It involves gradual exposure to sexual situations to reduce anxiety. Facial symmetry. Facial symmetry is often considered attractive due to its association with health and strong genetics. People tend to perceive symmetrical faces as more attractive. Fantasies of sex in public places. Some people experience sexual fantasies related to sex in public places, such as parks, public bathrooms, or even public transportation. These fantasies may be linked to the thrill of risk and the possibility of being discovered. Favorite time of day for sex. Preferences for the time of day for sex vary among individuals. Some prefer intimacy in the morning, while others find it more exciting at night. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.